A Palestinian man has stabbed an Israeli guard at the main bus station in Jerusalem. According to Israeli police, the attacker was caught while trying to escape. The bus station in question is in West Jerusalem, which is under Israeli control. Pope Francis has used his regular Sunday address at the Vatican to call for wisdom and prudence over the U.S. decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Protests against the American decision continue right across the world. This is Beirut in Lebanon, where demonstrators rallied outside the American embassy. They lit fires and hurled objects at security forces. At one point, some of the protesters tried to gain access to the U.S. embassy. The security forces blocked the road leading to the compound, but they continued to fire tear gas and water cannon to try to move the crowds away. After about four hours of confrontation, they moved against the protesters. They have since broken up the demonstration. Linda Tamim has been following these protests in Beirut. She says more are expected over the coming days. Here I am standing about a couple kilometers away from the U.S. Embassy compound where a massive demonstration was held to oppose President Donald Trump's decision to name uh, Jerusalem the capital of Israel. We have demonstrators that were here from America, from Italy, from Australia, as well as Lebanese, of course, who are here to show support to the Palestinians and express their discontent at uh, Trump's decision. Uh, we had people who fired uh, tear gas and uh, water cannons at uh, the uh, demonstrators, people including the Lebanese army and internal security forces as well. Uh, now the demonstration seems to have subsided with the protesters themselves uh, having uh, called for an end to today's protest. Of course, we have more expected protests coming up over the next few days. Uh, now people, as you can see behind me, uh, are cleaning up uh, the mess caused by uh, the demonstrations. But we still have a very strong military pr uh, presence back behind. As you can see, the cars around me, uh, vehicles belonging to internal security forces as well as the Lebanese army patrolling around, cleaning up the place. Uh, and luckily, uh, we didn't have that many injuries. I don't have an exact uh, number for now, but we definitely have four people who were arrested uh, by the internal security forces for now. And tens of thousands are attending a mass rally right here in Istanbul. Protests have been held across the city since that American announcement on Wednesday. The slogan of this demonstration, Jerusalem belongs to Islam. Turkey's president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, has called the American decision null and void. On Wednesday, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation will meet in Istanbul to discuss the Jerusalem issue. Ahmed Saylan is in Yenikapı. People here are of all ages and backgrounds, and there are 120 NGOs, NGOs from around the Turkey, as well as political parties. One of the parties is Saadet Party, an opposition party, you might say, even though they are not in the parliament, and their address to the crowd was calling for cutting all ties with Israel and taking all necessary measures against these U.S. policies. Protests also in the world's most populous Muslim country, Indonesia. Thousands there demonstrating outside the American embassy in the capital, Jakarta. Indonesia has been a strong supporter of the Palestinian cause. It has no diplomatic ties with Israel. The country's president, Joko Widodo, has condemned the decision by the states, saying it will rock global security and stability.